All right, so thanks a lot for joining me again. And uh, today we're going to talk about a Chinese clones of PVS fourteen light interference filters and purple filters. So let's talk about the functions. Let's unbox these and then talk about what they are meant for and also how to install them. <clears throat> All right, so let's go. We shall first start with the um, tier none TN light interference filter or LIF. And this thing, um, this thing costs about 35 US dollars from TN. And I can ship these out to you if you need them. Okay. Comes in quite a little nice packaging with uh, oil paper, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's get it open. Oh, okay, there's a latch. Nice. So, yeah. And it's in this purple filter, and yeah, you know, let's just unbox the items and then get into what they're meant for and how to install them. Okay, so quite a brilliant piece of optic this is. <clears throat> All right, and let's get into. Yeah, this is the uh, purple filter, and this is the box it comes in. And this is um, I've already unboxed this before, so this is basically just the packaging it comes in. And yeah, and this is the purple filter from Cyber Rhino Tech, I think. Yeah, and it is also available from TN's shop. All right, so now that we've unboxed these uh, optical filters, or I mean the LIF is technically, well, I guess it acts as a filter, but it acts in a way that's a lot more complex than filters, but yeah. All right, let's get into what they're meant for. So the light interference filter, it basically reflects green light. What it does is that it makes sh it goes on the objective lens of your night vision unit, like so I'm just going to install it. Basically, just goes into the thread that it's already in your objective lens. I can uh, let me just make sure I'm not cross threading it. Uh, if it will even engage the lens. Sorry about this. It's a little finicky. It's my first time with the unit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's in. So that is how you install a LIF on the PBS 14. And what it basically does is it reflects green light out. So basically you have your visible spectrum and what it does is that the LIF specifically cuts out the green light. So basically the light of the light spectrum that is reaching your night vision tube inside, that's going through the lens and reaching your, night in, uh, and reaching your intensifier tube inside, it is filtering out or actually reflecting a lot of the green out uh, that, and preventing a lot of the green light from reaching your night vision intensifier tube. And how is that useful? Well, let's say you are running green lasers. You're running really powerful green lasers on your, you know, on your peg, your D-bow, your pursed. Uh, this, fil this filter will be really helpful in ensuring that that green laser, number one, doesn't blind you, and number two, doesn't damage your night vision intensifier tube. So yeah, that's a function of it, basically. And let's get into the purple filter. So this purple filter, it goes on to the threads on your ocular or your eyepiece lens. So basically, you just unscrew the, um, the eye cup ring, and then... You just uh, and then you screw this uh, purple filter into place on your eyepiece lens. So that's how you install it. And the purpose of the pur uh, of the purple filter, purple filter, sorry, is to basically f um, let's just say your night vision intensifier tube is a green phosphor, and you want it to appear more like a white phosphor tube. So. You install the purple filter, and the purple filter filters out. You know, it filters out a little bit of the you know a little bit of spectrum off to the yellow and red side, and it makes it appear makes the color appear paler, and it, it basically it does not look exactly like a white phosphor, but it makes it a little bit more like a white phosphor. And uh, I'll have a video I'll have video clips later that show all that. But yeah, this is basically what they're meant for, and how you install them. 
Now, and then, yeah, let me just go out of my way and say this right now. These will affect your passive night vision, uh, light gathering, you know, low light performance. These will definitely affect your low light performance. Number one is the light, inter light interference filter. Uh, whatever, you know, ambient light that's in a green spectrum, this will reflect a lot of it out. So, yeah, if whatever environment you're operating in has a lot of green, you know, uh, has a lot of uh, ambient light that's in a green spectrum, this will definitely affect your low light performance. And then let's move on to the purple filter. So the light interference uh, filter blocks out light from going into the night vision unit in the first place. But what the purple filter does is that it actually also filters out quite a lot of light that's coming out of the intensifier tube and into your eye. So you are going to get a reduction in game and whether or not it'll reduce, yeah, that you'll definitely get a uh, either of these filters alone and in conjunction with each other will reduce the brightness you can see that uh, from the tube because that's just the way they work. Number one, the light interference filter reflects green light back out and the purple filter, it basically cuts down on, you know, of the total light emitted from, from the tube into your eye, the purple filter will basically just a filter uh, a portion of it out. And um, from what I've seen so far is that uh, it does make a Gen 3 look more like a early Gen 2. Uh, and if you're, unless you're getting into the really dark indoors, it's probably not going to perform, it's not going to severely affect your ability to see in the dark, but yeah, you are still getting a noticeable loss in performance, so. That's that. All right, so now let's, let's move on to the clips showing you the filters in action. All right, so let's do a little test by looking through the light interference filter and the uh, purple filter through the phone's camera at these objects on the table. So on the left, we have a Kim Tech Kim Wipes uh, laboratory tissue paper box that is predominantly green. In the middle, we have a AA lithium battery that has predominantly black and blue. And on the right, we have a Dodo that is predominantly red and yellow. So the reason we're doing this is because um, we have all these objects with uh, that reflect different colors and they appear as different colors to our eyes and to the camera as well. So if we put the light interference filter or the, uh, or the uh, purple filter over the phone camera, they should block out the light, the, the spectrum of light they're advertised to block out. So for example, the light interference filter, it blocks out, it's advertised to block out a lot of green. So if we put the light interference filter over the phone camera, we should not be able to see any more green on the tissue paper box anymore. So let's start it. So this is a light interference filter. And what you're looking at now is the objects on the table without the light interference filter in the way of the phone camera. Now let's put the LIF in the way of the phone camera. And as you can see, there is an immediate difference. It is blocking out quite a lot of green. As you can see, the green tissue paper box, laboratory tissue paper box is no longer green. It appears gray. However, it, while it's doing that, the blue and the red, the blue on the battery and the red and yellow on the dodo still appears to show up pretty well. So yeah, that's basically the light interference filter in an action. Now let's take a look at the purple filter that is meant to go on your eyepiece and turn what is basically a green phosphor image into something that looks more like a white phosphor image. And uh, I may have made a mistake earlier by saying that this blocks out red and yellow. Well, um, and the reason why I'm saying I made that mistake is because it appears purple as well. And if you look through and when it's being looked through, it also appears purple. So, so which means red and blue are being let through while green, or at least I suspect that the warmer portion of green is being blocked out. So let's just take a look through the purple filter through the phone's camera. And yeah. As you can see, it doesn't really block out a ton of green. Let me just quickly do it so the phone won't do the auto white balance thing. Green is still very visible through the LIF. And in the meantime, it's also not doing a lot to the blue on the battery and the red and yellow on a dodo. 
the phone's camera is still picking up those spectrums really well. So yeah, it does appear it's simply blocking out the warmer portion of green. So yeah, there's that. All right, so for this next test, we're gonna see how well the light interference filter, the LIF, blocks out green laser, which is the whole point of having this on your night vision in the first place. So let's start by switching our PERS4 to Z4 Zelenia, which is Russian for green, and turning it on to constant mode on low power. So yep, it's now constant mode on low power. And this is what the dot looks like. And uh, let me just... Uh, yeah, it. I mean, that's pretty definitive. Definitely works. Now, let me just bring it up to high power. And yeah, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at everything through the phone because I don't want to burn my eyes out. So yeah, I, I, I'm. my eyes are not directly looking at the laser dots. So, okay, I, I may be a bit, a bit clumsy because I'm looking at everything through the phone. So yeah, so this is the laser on high power and... Yeah. Well, it works. It definitely works. Yeah, I can see, you can pretty much see it, you know, reflecting the beam with pretty high efficiency back out. So yeah, this will protect your night vision unit. And well, if you can make glasses out of these, this will protect you really well against, you know, blue, uh, green laser beams as well, I guess. But yeah, hey, that's that. All right, now let's move on to the night vision test. So this is the bare bones PVS-14 without any of the LIF or the purple filters installed. So what you're looking at right now are the items on the table in a room that has a window with open curtains. So we have some light pollution coming in. So this is probably a full moon. I will say outside it may be full moon, but in the indoors it's probably a half moon or you know, maybe a little bit darker than half moon scenario. So this is pretty high light in the room with a bare bones PBS-14 looking at the items on the table without any filters installed. Now let's move on to installing the LIF on the objective and see how that affects performance. Oh yeah, before we do that though, let me actually turn on IR and basically give you an idea of what it looks like. That's what it looks like on with IR on on a bare bones PBS 14. Now let's install the LIF. So here we go, same camera settings and same night vision gain settings looking at the same object on the table in the same lighting conditions, but now with an LIF installed. I'll do a, I'll pull up a side-by-side -side in editing for you to look at. That's uh, without LIF and with LIF. No, 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 no big noticeable uh, hit on performance in uh, rather high, in rather bright lighting conditions for night vision, you know about half moon or you know uh, or basically light pollution coming in through the window but yeah you can definitely run an LIF in half moon conditions without getting a significant hit on low light performance so yeah that's that Alright, so this is the PBS-14 with the purple filter installed, looking at the objects in the table in the room with the window open with light pollution coming in. And yeah, it does uh, filter out the warmer light that the P43 green phosphor emits. So you are looking at an image that's paler and closer to white phosphor, but not quite white phosphor, but I kind of prefer this over white over just straight up white phosphor because it is warmer than you know just straight up white phosphor. It's not you know blue and cold. But then again, um, inevitably you are gonna take a reduction in brightness. You are gonna take some penalties there. In terms of low light performance, but yeah, it's uh, in, in the bright. You know when it's half moon out, it's pretty pre pleasant. 
now let's bring it into the dark room. All right, so this is my bathroom and it's basically pitch black. I can't really see my uh, hand in front of my face. So yeah, this is probably starlight levels of darkness. And there is a just one single white LED, a charger LED that's in the, in the bathroom and it's the only reason why we can see anything at the moment. But yeah, this is a bare bones PVS 14 and indoors really dark conditions. And uh, yeah, that's what it sees. Now let's install the LIF and see what happens. All right, now this is the PBS 14 with the LIF installed indoors in uh, pretty much starlight conditions. Now I will point this out. A uh, white LED is pretty much will emit across, it's pretty much just emitting the whole visible spectrum. However, with the caveat that it's not emitting a lot of IR. So yeah, it is quite a drop in performance in the dark. So yeah, if you are in the, if you are, are operating in starlight and LIF probably will affect your ability to, you know, rapidly identify things in the dark and things like that. So yeah, not recommended to use LIF in the very dark, unless of course you're using a lot of uh, IR illumination, in which case, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like with IR illumination. And oh, there we go. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, in that case, uh, if, if you have IR, then yeah, uh, it's, it's pretty good. But yeah, that's that. All right, now this is the PBS 14 in the dark. Uh, you know, the that bathroom with the uh, purple filter installed. And I'll bring up a side by side later on, but yeah, you can see that the brightness penalty is pretty severe. So yeah, uh, don't, actually install the purple filter on to the eyepiece of your night vision device if you plan on using your night vision uh, if you plan on using your PBS 14 you know, passively in you know very dark conditions you know like starlight conditions because yeah it is going to massively impact your ability to you know rapidly identify objects and I have done this with my eye as well not just looking through the camera I have done this with my eye and yeah it does have that penalty when you're in you know very dark conditions in a bright, yeah, not, not so much. It makes the image maybe a little bit more pleasant to look through, but yeah, in the dark like this, yeah, nah. It's gonna take away quite a lot of low light performance, as you can see right here. It just takes away the brightness. All right, so that's that. Thanks for watching. All right, so now let's test out how well the LIF blocks out lasers when looking through night vision, that is. So right now we have a PERS4 set up on a stand that is basically just projecting a dot towards the door to our right. And yeah, I'm just gonna basically look towards the dot with the night vision device. And yeah, as you can see, it's super bright. It's basically, you know, uh, blooming out that dot. I'm just gonna look at it for you know a few seconds so that we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm gonna look away because uh, I'm pretty sure if we stay there for too long it's gonna blem out our, our tube. Alright, just check the tube to make sure there's nothing there, nothing blemmed. Now, now that that's done, let's move on to you know installing the light interference filter and see how that how well that works out. Alright, so this is the PVS14 with the Ally F installed and Look at that. The dot is a lot dimmer, especially when looking through the unit with the eye. Uh, the camera isn't really good at picking up how much of a difference it makes, but yeah, looking through the device with your eye, the difference is massive. So yeah, now I can just basically stare at the dot with a night vision device all day, and it's not gonna do a goddamn thing to the uh, to the tube because yeah, it's not gonna 
it's, it's the green laser light has been cut down to a level where you can basically just uh, use it. Well, obviously not stare at it, you know, in the same position all day. But yeah, you can basically just uh, use uh, use your green laser as much as you want without damaging your night vision device, which is pretty cool. So yeah, the light inf interference filter definitely works. And it's definitely good for its intended purpose. Thanks for watching.